If we're going to graph number 25, that's going to be a parabola. So let's go to y equals, clear out the old stuff. All I have to do is type in this equation, and then if I find that vertex point, I do all, I hit all the same buttons I was just hitting for the absolute value ones. So I have to type in x squared, though. Do you guys know how to do that? I know how to get x, right? That's the button right next to the green alpha key, x. But then how do I do squared? There's actually two different ways to do it. The easiest, yep. Yes, there's a button over on the left that says x squared. So you do have to hit the x first, right next to the green alpha key. And then if I just want to square it, I just hit that x squared button. And then you see it puts a nice little squared right there. And then I just want plus 2x minus 3. The other way to do it, if you ever wanted to, would be to do, I wouldn't type this if I were you, but you can hit X like normal, and then, but what if I wanted to do to the third, or to the fourth, or to the fifth? I don't have buttons for those. So remember this caret key? Have you used that before? So right above the divide key, there's a caret key, and that's if you want to raise something to a power. So I could have also hit caret key, and then two. Either way, that gets you. You might, If you're doing x squared, you might as well use the button. That's much easier. But if you had to do x cubed or x to the fourth, that's how you would do it. So anyway, uh, does everybody have in your first line x squared plus 2x minus 3? You all got that in there? Okay. So go ahead and hit graph. Who knows what we're going to see? Oh, hey, look at that. I got my nice U shape. So just like with the absolute value, you have to decide if this is a max or a min, this vertex point. So what would it be here? A min, right? That's the lowest point on the whole graph. So I hit the same series of buttons, second calc. I'm going to choose choice three because this is the minimum. And then it's asking me the same questions, it's saying put me to the left of the lowest point, put me to the right of the lowest point, hit enter one more time, and there it is. So again, you could, that's just going to be a negative 1, comma, negative 4. So to find that max or min, it's the same way, whether it's absolute value or parabolas. That's okay. Uh-huh. So let's try same thing, 26. So I'm going to hit Y equals. See if you can remember how to type that in without me telling you. Can you just keep it and delete them? Oh, yeah, you could. Make sure you're deciding for yourself, is this a max or a min before you go away from this menu? So this would be a min again. So second calc, choice three. Go to the left, go to the right, and then we'll be done. Left, right. Did you get what I got?